Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ryke here, back in my new video, and yeah, yeah, I'm just sort of hanging in and around my bedroom, nothing much, you know, it's a little bit outside, but for those of you who don't know, there was a new GTA update out recently, and I want to cover it for my channel, because not many people have gone deaf about what it is, some people are on the fence, and there's not that much out about that, they just know money. So I'm actually going to go into depth about what this is, after only one, for at least 24 hours, okay, I'm very, very fast learner. However, this is a little extension you can actually get for the bunkers, which are the new things here. Now, it's just a little living area, but however, it allows you to set your spawn here, which is amazing considering how far out these can be. So, if we were to walk out here, please, we will actually see if there's, there's a lot more to this little house than meets the eye. Now, there's a lot of things with this little day which I enjoy. First of all, the use of a coffee machine in the underground bunker, very nice. The fact that there's tables, okay, the, the human fact that there is a table and chair segment to this is enough to sell this to me, if you ask me. There's also little buggies which we're going to ride around later, and there's a little area down there. However, let's exit here, so we can actually go and see what's up with this new update. Because trust me, there's a lot. So the first thing I actually want to point out here, is if you were to go into your phone contacts, as of recently, yeah, here are all the people in my session, just walking up my phone, as usual. So you'll see there's a person called Agent 14, now they'll call you about business opportunity, basically saying, hey, buy this bunker, and we'll talk about business and guns and all that because the name of the thing, gun running, basically, you were making guns in this bunker. Well, you'll notice there's actually the guy from the prison break ice, and there's a very nice introductory cutscene. So I'm actually going to play for you now. Hey! hey! You must be, uh, well, I know who you are. And anyway, I'm me, and you're you, and that's that. Funny. We're selling this silly old place. Not that it's ever been used for anything inappropriate. Uh, of course it wasn't. Just routine business that needs a bunker. You know how it is, don't you? Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're just moving to somewhere else uh, equally routine. You know, hey, hey, hurry the fuck up! We have to leave! Come on, destroy anything you can't carry! Oh, anyway, if I were you, I'd make it a nice boutique hotel or some such. It'd be great as that. Uh, microbrewery or record decks, hog roast. Perfect. Yeah. Excuse me. Hello? Yes, yes, we're almost done. No. No, we've destroyed everything. More or less. Up, 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 up. What are you talking about? Do it, but don't do it. What are you, a fucking fortune cookie? I will call you back. So you've probably finished watching that now. And as you can see, they're basically removing everything. So they show off everything in the bunker. And then they take it all away from you. Now, the reason I'm out here is so I can show you the amazing animation when you go in. However, there's more. If you were to go onto the internet, onto Maze Bank Foreclosures, which is where Agent 14, whatever you want to call him, tells you to go, you'll notice that there's a bunch of bunkers now. These can range from 1.1 million to all the way up to 2. Point... Okay, I think it's this bunker that's most expensive. There's a really expensive bunker. I'm trying to find it. I'm very sorry. This is quite awkward. Okay, but there's a very expensive bunker in a sense. Just know that. Okay, so yeah, you see all these bunkers, this is one up here, it's the cheapest, and you can click on renovate. Now, bunker style, it speaks for itself, um, you can choose it, bunker style 2 is the best, because not only is it the second most cheapest, that, that one's free, but that, you're investing in blue paint. Now, it might not sound bad or anything, however, it looks a lot better, just that little fresh coat of blue paint on top of it. Instead of looking like that, it has a little bit of a life breathed into a small portion of the thing, so and then you have bunker style fruit, which costs you that much. Personal quarters is about 240,000, I believe, and um, I've already showed that for myself. Shooting range, you can choose to buy this, it's 740,000 normally, or you can get a white variant for 845,000, differently. And um, the gun locker, you can take this, it's pretty much the same as the CEO office, completely useful. And then you have transportation, where you can choose one or two. Invest in Caddy 2, it looks a lot better. It's already got 1.3 million, so we're spending more on additions than we are for the actual thing. And I'm pretty sure you want to know what's actually up with the rest of this update, and Mobile Operations Center are literally about to go into that. However, when you walk up to this, you'll just see yourself going inside. It's really important that you can bring in vehicles, it's like one car garage. Well, you can, it's actually two car garage, you'll know what I mean in a minute. But you can escape police with a full and wanted level, like not when they're flashing and you can go into certain buildings, when they're flashing and you escape them. No, you can go in here with a full on thing, because this is supposed to survive a full on nuclear blast. So already, you know what's up with this. You know something's pretty cool. So he's just loading in because this is a very big area. So, you might as well go onto one of my beautiful vehicles if the game would cooperate with me. Yeah, see, that, that's just Bay Zero One. So let's go on our little vehicle here. 
See, this is why I like. There's a little vehicle for you to cruise around them. So let's go into the main room here. You might question what this is. This is basically a thing in the top left that will describe us for it personally, if not. Okay, vehicle workshop when available, mobile operation center. Basically, mobile operation center. Really big vehicle that can maintain vehicles and produce guns. So basically, you have two of these on the go, plus vehicles. Well, vehicle cargo, I believe. I have not actually seen anything of that. I'm saying, well, that might make a different video on it. But this is basically where you have a problem. So if you have two vehicles in here, that's all great and all. And there you have the X little per head. And um, here's where all your supplies are kept. It might be stock. I think it's supplies from the opening cutscene. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. But okay, having more of these awkward little things, trying to fit it around the corner. And here is the main attraction. Don't we this would look good with white. It, it wouldn't. You can't actually go for GT in the ceramic here. Because, Bob, you, Bob, you own staff. I have to say, though, after you buy it, the staff arrives immediately after setting it up. Not a little while after. Immediately. It's a lot better than bikers. Now, I've probably got to mention this a lot now. But bikers, that has a cocaine lab. Now, this is a very similar thing in the sense that you can get things. But not only can you install more things, not only can you renovate the inside of it. However, the workers arrive immediately. Now, that was very big pet pay for me. Not sure why, but it was. And not only that, it is a lot more effective. Anyway, drank that away. And there's my little humble abode that you could you could walk out on it. You see a blue pillar, mate, you're telling me this isn't cool. I'm not actually gonna get onto researching here. I'm not sure why I ever came up here. Basically you can research additions for weapons and more vehicles for you to actually manufacture, hence getting you more money and kills in the process. So I believe that's everything, but I actually want to show off the full scale of this first. So if we were to go all the way here, this is the farthest corner. See, that's the vehicle main sensing. So it's all the way across it. You have this huge area to just casually drive around in, unless you install anything in it. Here's the main lab. You've got everything up here. That's a random exit that's blocked off a shooting range. You have all of this. For 1.1 million at cheapest. Now, they're, not all, they're all the same, so just get the cheapest one. However, you'll know that um, having the cheapest one is not always the best idea. You, you'll know why in a minute. Because like, we're about to actually show off how you resupply this thing, which is probably the main thing you'll spend. However, main big pet peeve with resupplying, it's very, 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 very annoying to travel about 15 miles in 30 minutes. Well, you know, you have 30 minutes to travel oh, 15 miles in the game. Not only that, you're being hunted down and you have to probably do a task for something. You are very slim on time doing that. Anyway, you can see I've failed a little bit. Anyway, so, um... As I was saying, resupply. We're actually going to do that afterwards, um, so as you can see, we buy supplies for 45,000. No, you can steal them. Research, I've literally just mentioned what this is. You can actually, these are all the things you will want. Let me make you a nuclear launch, a minigun. You have everything you can possibly want there. You have vehicle upgrades, random patterns, uh, clips, um, core clips. Basically, it's any, it's, it's any person's dream. You can, now, here's my thing interesting though. You can start to blame count, which is closer. Get 70,000, or you can travel further to Los Santos. Who is, yeah, I can't speak today. We can travel further to Los Santos and sell them. And well, you have a big risk of it being destroyed by either the in game people or you know, actual real people. You can manage yourself to be manufacturing, researching, or you can send them both. Like, keep it on manufacturing to get my money back. Upgrades, these are fun things. You basically buy this and it upgrades it because some people will actually get a mission, I believe, where they can just come and raid somebody else's bunker if they're online. And um, yeah, that's 351,000. Staff upgrade is like 460, no, 516. And basically, this highest more staff is basically manufacturing art. And it proves the overall value of your stock by about 2,000 per load. So, so, as you can tell, that's very useful. And in a sense, it's just that tiny bit, but that 2,000 will add on each time. It's like petrol. It starts off small, then it's really And now you have the equipment upgrade, which is 1.1 million. So, by this time, you've bought three whole bunkers. You've got like 3 million here. And, of course, there's more on top of everything else. However, um, purchase, basically, you install better equipment, and it's piece of manufacturing time to improve value of stocks, of course, made better, and then you can short it on your business at the bottom. So now, okay, everybody's dying. I'm pretty sure there's a mother in the lobby, because, um, that person's doing... Okay, everybody's doing a lot of stuff now. S sorry if this is bothering you or anything. As you can see in the bottom, you actually have all the little counters there. So let's actually access this now. You can actually see the yellow packs going along. Ooh, that's wobble. Because I actually brought over it. Now I'm going to resupply and we're going to do a mission. Hopefully it's really close. So you actually get a mission. Now, the way I know that guy's actually from Prison Break is they personally call you a lot of times. Um, so, and almost everything. But I want to show off how difficult these missions can be. 
Okay, see, I think there's something dodgy going on here. So Agent 14. Here we go. Find the supplies and take them back to the lab. And make sure they're not too damaged in the process. Okay, so basically it... Oh, okay. Okay. Oh god, how far are we gonna have to travel here? Please don't be far. Well, yeah, um, one pet peeve, I, I think I mentioned this before, just in case I haven't. They do not make a single penny when you were doing this mission, or any of these missions, because it counts as you being in an external mission, apparently. Um, it, they don't do it when you're in the jobs, it only ha ha happens when you're in a main lobby where you can physically access it. Just want to clear that up, it's a very big pet peeve. However, they should be doing it when you're in, in a game with this, doing this specific mission. However, well, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. However, that little pet peeve aside, these missions can range from eliminate like 20 people and then you have to go to a different place and then on the way back you'll be like a mile away with about a minute left. You'll try to get there and then all of a sudden it'll run out and then you'll be crying on the floor because you're like within meters. Or it can be, okay, here are the free supplies, grab them. And then in the tunnel that we're about to come up, underneath the military base, you'll crash into somebody with this purple and red sort of tunnel. They'll kill themselves, then they'll go and get in a really big overpowered helicopter, get chased down by the police. You'll be about within 10 feet of your bunker. You get blown out of your car, and it's a parcel, so it doesn't detonate immediately. And then they're being put down with police, and you're just about to reach it, and then all of a sudden they fire at you with straight parcel. Those are some of the variants that you can experience of this. Along with extreme anger issues, you will rage very bigly in the fact that look at how far we're traveling, okay? This is there and back. Now, but if the, if you do it in a custom delivery vehicle, like say you need to bring it in a specific truck, and that truck isn't fast, like I've had it delivered in insurgents before. But yeah, it's not particularly the um the best way to um, retrieve it. However. That's all where pricing comes into play. Well, like, you, you're running the risk. Because the timer is the same regardless of where you are. So you have 30 minutes to get there and back from there. You can do it there. It's reduced risk. It all tallies up, really. But here we are. This is where the guy started chasing me with a helicopter. And right up in the middle of my I went two miles being chased down with a military helicopter with a car that was about to set on fire in it. It only did just, like, smashed into a wall. Oh, okay. Right, we're not going to Grand Theft Ceramic level check because I'm recording with fraps. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. I go Zankudo. How do you pronounce that? Zankudo. Nick. But yeah, I'm actually going to show off this mission real quick because well, they're mostly all the same. It's just that they're completely all the same. There we are, mini SMG, a long last. Yeah, the, like, there's a lot of variants. However, every single time you will have the opportunity to get supplies. It's down to you to retrieve them in within that time, though, because it magically combusts for some strange reason. Again. It's GTA and Rockstar, what would you expect? Anyway, right, we're getting fairly close, we're at least halfway there. Yeah, there's also one more thing about this update. Um, there were a bunch of little mini games called Bunker Series, so, I mean, they basically just made entire mini games based around the bunker. Now, I would really love to see a slasher version of Bunker. Comment down below if you think that's a good idea. Think a slasher in a bunker that big, maybe a little bit expanded, maybe a little bit custom map. You know, maybe if they had added a bunker heist, you know, a cheeky little heist update there for another one, just past Pacific Standard. You, you never know with Rockstar, you never do know. However, okay, but, oh, oh, oh. Oh, this is joyous if you're reading the chat right now. There's apparently purples and mothers. How, how many purples are there? Apparently nobody's in the... Oh, there we are. Okay, so two mothers. Rockstar, get on that, please. Anyway, right, we're there, passing by the nice little shop, so to say something. I'm surprised this car's holding up. Yeah, I have to say, though, when saving up for this bunker, I raged very bigly, because I keep saying the word bigly. I, I raged massively. Okay, that's the correct term for it. I raged massively because I was had, like, 200 and... I basically filled up a very small warehouse, cheap swan, um, with cargo. And, well, who could have guessed I failed at the mission, losing 200,000 the bit worth of cargo in the process, hence setting me back a couple of hours. Luckily though, me and my friend did a Pacific Standard, they gave me a decent portion of the car, they, get, they got rid of some of their own and gave it to me, just as right to go into highs, we completed it without anybody really noticing. And then we were fine and dandy on that, me and my friend going off into the sunset. 
Yeah, but I originally found out about Zilday through one of my friends um, at school. They were like, oh yeah, it's Woku, you get a nuclear bunker, and I'm like, a nuclear bunker? Okay. I, I was a bit skeptical in the fact that they're probably gonna add, like, a nuke feature, and, um, for any of you ha who know how, um, dandy that modding scene is on GTA Online, where they can spawn continuous explosives and money bags and, and get you banned for a month, and then you can't appeal it on the form because it's an automated fucking robot. Oh, no, 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 no. Elaborate on where that came from. Okay, yeah, I think that guy's definitely a hacker. Just stay safe. What is the logic here? Okay, this is done again the one episode of Grand Theft Ceramic. Gone wrong edition. Hey, I don't want to crouch, mate, I just want to run. So, yeah, things like that can really affect your time on them. Getting there effectively and with all the cargo. Trust me. Apparently you get a lot of money for catching and destroying shipments. I wouldn't know, however. Because I'm very bad at this game. Mate, mate. Does anybody want a KFC chicken bucket? Sir, once in a lifetime opportunity, KFC chicken bucket. I'm taking the signs. Yeah. Oh, he's got a nice oh, faggio with a nice little trim. Mate, okay, we're doing this heist on a faggio. I feel bawdy intense. I feel very open, however. God stays in heaven because one time he played GTA 5, he went into a modded lobby and then after that he gave up on human as we know it. I think so too. It's also a replacer for Thrill Bill. I find in love with this update because you always have something going on in it. And that might sound like a bad thing for some people, but that keeps you constantly entertained. Like those of you who played Restaurant City back in the day, you know what I'm talking about about having a constant street. Oh! Okay, I think all I can say is there. Yeah, okay, I'm passing the pier, so close. Who remembers Explosive Day of the Pier, the last video I made before the tragic 100 subscriber special? And everybody loves so dearly. Okay, I will report those people on the forum, so because. I don't think. He's supposed to have explosive ammo on me. You know, I mean, first, first of all, you, you scoped me. With... I'm not gonna question it anymore. I'm just gonna try and get the ship moved before my game dies of loading into so many areas. And hopefully we'll make some money on the side with the supplies in the process. Because the best thing to do in this is to get in a taxi and ride the entire way there wasting 15 minutes of the entire time taken. Just because you wanted to use an ice spot and then you got lazy. I know that feeling a lot. I've, I've done it like eight times. And who knew taxis would ever be useful in GTA? Okay, and who knew the minimap was a lifesaver? I've clicked stuck, you know. It's a one mile away. One mile away now. I'm on my way to Stardom. Forget traffic regulations and full moments. Okay, there we are. Come on. Please, Jesus. 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 I'm on my second GTA account. Allow me to do this and hide inside my bunker so I don't get head dropped while I'm AFK again. As you can see, I have very deep resonating anger issues, of which I should probably seek counsel for. And um, apparently, Rockstar really don't like to look at the boss. Okay, so 0 0.3 miles left. Will he make. Okay, right. Um, I think I'm contemplating mining a helicopter. Just to be on the safe side now. If that's possible. Give me a search mission, I'll end myself physically. Mentally. Okay. Okay, so this is a smooth criminal one. You slimy and a lockable Carolina. So things be Oh, okay! So this is the one where nothing actually happens. As far as I'm concerned. I'm just hoping they're moving up the thing away from my bunker. And if not, I'll take a completely different route on account of that. 
happen, but oh, let's hope for the love of God that the hack is done to see me. Like, that guy did teleport, didn't he? Like, I'm not only my recording hackers, I'm also at threat of being banned again by them, and um, being banned for a fifth time from GTA really is a good thing to say to your subscribers. However, mate, I don't mean quitting in the Pacific Standard job with somebody on your friends list. You'd expect them not to come in with a huge PED dropper and get banned, but no. These are some of the issues which have prevented the production of Grand Theft and Remake for some time. Uh, 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 there's also the processor thing. Don't worry though, it's June 18th, so wait, wait, wait hold on a second. Like last year wasn't that thing released on June 18th. What do I know? Um, yeah, like, um, 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 what was I gonna say again? You idiot. Oh, it wasn't something my hackers, it was not something about June 16th. <laughs> oh yeah, my processor! See? Realizations are always a great thing to have. Like a brain or not. So, um, yeah, I'm getting processor for my birthday, so this will be able to render better and look better. Um, yeah. I'm currently using 100% of my CPU usage. GTA usually uses about 97% of that. Just to give you a perspective. You know, just saying. Actually, I'm gonna check something very quickly. If, if my map will load. Okay, I'm taking a completely different route on account of everything. Okay. I'm wishing on the stuff that under every single circumstance has ever been magically disconnected for some reason. Oh, that would just be a great day. Because only would I be able to continue to do deliveries. I'd also not have to run into really big modders, apparently. Might as well send this video to Rockstar while I'm at it. Anyway. So, now we're just cruising along. I'm hoping... I it's gonna make me go that way, isn't it? Please don't actually make me go that way. I don't think... Okay, they're all up there for some reason. I'm going to say that's a great thing, because there's less people on the highway now. And... There's enough to find for one point plus for acquisition! Okay, um, for those of you who don't know, to find is a Minecraft mod, which makes your game run smoother. Especially on the newer releases where they haven't exactly been refined in like point one or two or five or nine. It's a very good thing. Very, very good. However, I have the feeling this might not go according to plan. But we all have to see. Remember, because speeding in GTA is quite good. I can, I can imagine psychopaths playing GTA and think, oh! Thank you, Jesus. They actually just eliminated him. I mean, maybe he got shot by the police, I don't care. But I made it past him. And all the models, apparently. All I need to do now is deliver it, and um, I'm beginning to sweat profusely. Also, I got in touch with one of those old craft people, because one of them moved away, so it was quite sad. However, and one of the, I got back in touch with one of the people from Craft SMP, which is really good. It means now we'll be able to make really good content together, and have another 200 subscriber special live on stream when he gets his Minecraft server back up and running. Okay, right, I am um, literally... I, my hand is beginning to stick to the desk because for those of you who don't know when you have a keyboard like my wrist is touching the desk, nothing else I'm beginning to sweat that's how much stress this update has put on me no, don't actually do this to me game go backwards and don't destroy okay should I be cheering or should I be crying because I've landed in the ocean? At least there's something alive in there today. Sometimes I ask myself, am I blessed? And 
the day of all days, I think I am in all honesty. No, for what reason? It's not only if I've not been interrupted. I made it past them all. So that's one of them has some sneaky teleportation acts, which trust me, this time will not be very good for the fact when I'm reporting you on the forms for, you know, uh, everything. I was just say this is great. Oh wait, okay, wait, oh, they've all vanished. Oh, okay. I'm, okay, um, crap, why did I only put on the other nation for that? First print, mm. This has a whole, this has a whole nother meaning to the term a sweaty teenager in GTA 5. Well, that's totally so. Let's not drive into the ocean, that'd be a great day. Okay, right, okay, can there just be a cargo bob here and pick me up? I mean, please, sir, mate, please, sir. Actually, that's got me thinking. Right, so one of these times you get picked up when you fly over the military base. If you're wanted, wouldn't the cargo bob have been shot down? And you can't run a base as maneuvers, maneuvers on a freaking helicopter carrying a cargo down, can you? Okay. So, as you can see, this has been very time-consuming, the fact it's almost 17 minutes in. It's a very rusty car. Oh. Well, this has a whole new dynamic because when you first fall for your thing, when without any upgrades, when you first do the first self mission, where right, nothing is basically, you know, everything's pretty much free, you get a fallen stock, you make 50k off the bat. That's another thing I want to mention. Okay, right, this time there's no helicopters chasing after me. There's no random people chasing after me, in fact. Time to freaking die. Come on. Right, okay, this game is bloody damn delicious, I tell you. I'm sorry, game. Just let me through. <gasps> okay, I've evaded him. This is. Right, okay. I wish I had a pacemaker because I'd be able to measure my heart rate. Right. Right, he's on a stretch now with me. However, I'm almost there. And he's also putting with the police right now, so... It's a win-win either way. You know what? I should just go for it at this point. There's nothing much I can do. Okay, so demonstrate the fact you can literally escape cops with a form wanted level when I don't even have one. Oh, it's covered up by the fraps counter, that explains it. Okay. Okay, we're coming up on the turn of death. This is why my car sat on fire last time. Because I was that bad at driving and it was great, so I was in a fast car instead of a custom vehicle. Who's here? Can't catch me though, surprise. I know that one, mate. Reverse up here, come on. Well, I only have one star, just let me go. Come on. I am very sweaty. Explosive ammo noobs. Oh, okay, so they're being called out for hacks. And again, I've already called them out for hacks in this video more times than I should. I always haven't typed in the chat though, come on. No, come on. Explain how. If you just get out your car now, I'd be dying. Wait, they're out the car, they're out the car, they're out the car. This is my chance to make it back in one piece and... Okay, right, they're not driving, so I'm able to escape. All I need is a flashed wanted level, apparently. Well, you are able to escape it without cargo, but clearly, you know... In this situation... Day and age... All that damn stuff. Come on. Let me in. I'll just go and hide up here. Okay, come on. Move, 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 move. 
that was a close one. That took me 21 minutes. However, I think this makes for a good episode of Grand Theft Noramic, if I say so myself. And the fact that it's also functioning as a tutorial for this is something else. However, the vehicle's on its back. But we delivered it and now it's upright again. I mean, look at that. Tell me that isn't a thumbnail in a half. Okay, I'll just lean back because someone went in my eyes. Krirag 36 trigger. Wait, one, two. Okay, that's. I'm just counting my heartbeat to make sure I'm, it's still pumping. That's the delivery mission in a nutshell. That was an easy one. Usually you have people chasing after you, you need to shoot them out and then you, you know, deliver and all that. This time though, we went off like a hitch. Not only did the person in front of me die when requested, but, but they're like, everybody moved off the highway just as I needed them to thank you God. And I am religious, seriously religious, okay? I, I do believe God is in existence and that probably just to hide my very deep troublesome fears. But I mean, God looked after me in that one, I tell you, mate. Okay, it's, oh, okay, there we are, we're actually in now. Come on, play this cutscene, I know you want to play it. I saw your loading wheel, now it's gone. Do it for me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe. I might do more GTA content in the future, who knows? However, I'm afraid that's all the time we've got for today. This was supposed to be a 10 minute long video, but just no. But yeah, I don't think I'll have to cut this down. I think I can literally just reload the raw footage through Handbrake. But yeah. <sighs> Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. My CPU's in on 100% again. Get in there, son. Whether I believe it's in gonna load until I stop recording, because that's how my computer pretty much likes it. But again, subscribe, ding the bell, like this, comment down below if you actually want more GTA, and I'll do walkthroughs and more future updates for beginners, if you want to call them that. I am trying to put out GTA, but it'll most come out in three months, maybe just over three months. So I will begin to put out more GTA content as I, you know, I, I will put in the effort, basically. But there we are, finished loading. Oh, I never thought I would make it at times. Like, not only was there that guy on the road, which is terrifying me, I thought I was going to be chased down by some random gangsters. And not only that, the police were chasing me. Like, there was a lot going on there. But with all that said and all that aside, thanks for watching, guys. My name is Renner, Eric, and peace out.